All right, guys, so here's my little uh, pile of goodies I kind of want to show you guys. We'll start off with the, uh, the smaller items first and kind of work our way up, uh, just to kind of show you guys. Um, so what we have right here is, uh, this is Hagrid's hut from Harry Potter. And, uh, I mean, as you can pretty much tell, it's, it's definitely small. I printed it like Monopoly piece size. Uh, I got a friend that actually plays uh, some type of Harry Potter game, so I told him if I try to print out anything small enough for it, uh, I'll give that to him. So, just to give you guys an idea of exactly how big this is, uh, this is in millimeters, so that comes right at 13. And for the height, let's see if I can hold it. Height 12. So, <clears throat> it's, uh, it looks really, really good. You guys can see the quality on here. Uh, it did come out very, very nice. It's hollow on the inside. It just, it has a base. Um, but it's hollow on the inside. And obviously this did take just a, uh, a few minutes of cleanup. You could see like a little, little piece right there that was kind of connecting that to there. You can actually see just a tiny, tiny bit of stringing right there. And, uh, and it's so light and so faint that you actually can't see it from right here, but it's, it's there and it kind of, kind of helps out, kind of holds on to, uh, that little piece right there. So this came out really, really nice for the size. Print it in a similar size. But unfortunately, the quality didn't come out that great. Um, you guys probably can't even tell what this is. Uh, this is supposed to be Dobby. Uh, Harry Potter Dobby. Not not Lord of the Rings uh, Dobby. Not, not Precious. Um, some of the quality is there. Uh, as you could tell, like, like the ears kind of have the shape that they're supposed to have. Uh, the nose probably came out decent I guess the hands are just are just foldy lines um, you could tell this this is not you know it's not a perfect printer for printing miniatures like this um, the size of this one is actually bigger than the other one but the quality went down this is coming out at a 32 uh, but the quality did go down uh, this is actually a second print as well uh, the first one probably got about halfway through, and it started to basically push it. Like, the nozzle was going lower than what it should have, so it was, like, pushing the model as it was trying to go by, and, and it destroyed the first one. But here's the second one. Uh, as you could see, they are pretty small, in my opinion. Uh, if I'm going to try to print something like this again for whatever reason... Truthfully, I'm just gonna buy like a set of nozzles and, and go down in nozzle size. That way I can get a finer uh, type print. But where I don't really need to do this as much, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I just wanted to test it out and see the quality of a miniature that I could get. Also, one other thing to note is this STL file was not perfect from Thingiverse. When checking the layers, it didn't look perfect and it didn't come out perfect. Hagrid's hut still looked really good though, and it came out really good. Not too sure if that has something to do with it, but it may, so I figured I'd mention that. Now we're gonna talk about these. I'm not gonna bother showing you the shark. That was just, that was just over there with the group. Uh, if you can't tell, um, these are iron sights. Uh, and these are 3D printable iron sights. I printed them in lime green uh, TPU. Yeah, I absolutely love TPU. I am a huge fan of TPU. I'll print everything in TPU, uh, even little uh, even little benches. And unfortunately, this this may look like a failure to you. Um, obviously, it's it's not perfect. For those of you who noticed, uh, it doesn't have the smokestack on top. That's actually not a failure from the model. That is a failure from the STL file on Kira. Um, other than that, the bottom uh, is not attached all the way in the back. So looking at it, uh, you know, when it's the size of my thumb up close, 
it kind of looks like shit. But if I simply place it back here. Oh, look at that. Looks awesome. It's like a tiny little boat. So it depends on the quality of a miniature that you're really going for. <clears throat> but I'm absolutely ecstatic with the quality of the TPU that I get from this printer. These are 45 degree iron sights for a Picanti rail. It's three separate pieces that you print. So you've got the actual iron sight device piece, you know, your, your front or your back sights. Uh, then you have this little, this little clamp, this little guide, which actually fits perfectly, perfectly on there. Like you could not get that to match up any smoother. Um, so you print that out and then you print the knob. Uh, I would show you exactly uh, how it works, but unfortunately I don't have screws long enough, so I just put this one in there to pretty much demonstrate for you guys. Once the screw is in place, and it will look something like that, uh, all you do is you take a, I don't even have one, you take a threaded nut, oh, I do, here you go, uh, you take a threaded nut and you put this inside the back so that way when the screw goes through, it connects to this. And these are 45 degrees. Uh, I printed these out for a couple reasons. Um, for one, I do play paintball and I've been starting to get into woods ball a little bit. I just needed to try this out and it actually printed out so perfectly that I probably will end up putting it on my gun. Um, so, Let's take a look at that real quick. So that's got the last piece on there I really want to show you guys. Uh, besides for all these, you know, sweet GoPro mounts that I also printed in the lime green as well. And the quality of these is uh, just the same as uh, all my others because I am using the Sand Smart TPU. Uh, which I will leave a link to down in the description of the video and uh, I'm just gonna keep up talking them because their product really really works for me I'm glad I selected it as a first trial product uh, I'm super happy with all the quality I get from it um, so maybe if I just keep talking about it maybe they'll just send me some free rolls here and there you know cuz I'm using a hundred and forty nine dollar printer and I'm getting Amazing quality. Like, look at that. Look at how smooth that is. You can just watch that light reflect off it all day. And yes, this is flexible. If you're like, oh, he's not moving it. Yeah, this is flexible. I bend it and bend it this way. Bend it this way. This is 100% infill as well. Move on to the last one real quick, though. And that is the piece de resistance. It was a little mistaken. There's two last pieces I want to show you guys. And here's the first one. Yep, that's right. It's another TPU. Um, and this one is also a Picanti Rail uh, TPU mount. So you can go ahead and lock that on. And you can put that on the side of your rifles. You can put that on the top of your rifles. Um, this one actually, I'll leave a uh, link down in the description of the video, but this mount actually goes to a, uh, to a Nerf gun. Um, that's just, that's just the sizing, that's the way it, it was made. Uh, right now it's a little bit spread apart just because I had it on my rifle already. Um, but when that is, uh, brand new printed, nice and tightly, um, it sits on the gun pretty well and pretty snug. Uh, but I would still recommend a screw through this one as well to uh, hold on to it. So that's pretty cool. But here is the last and final piece uh, I'm going to show you guys in this video. And this is absolutely um, my favorite, favorite print so far. And I'll tell you, it was scary. Uh, it was around 11 and a half hours to print this. <clears throat> Uh, for those of you who could tell already, it's a grip. Uh, it's a angled front grip, uh, Picanti rail, um, obviously. For whatever you have a Picanti rail that you would like to put a front grip on. 
So the scary part about this is, this was 11 and a half hours to print. This is definitely the biggest item I've printed uh, so far. Um, it did come out great. It's still flexible. This is 100% infill as well. Um, the back right here, this triangle, is not, not really too flexible. It's really, really solid, but you could tell this is, this is TPU. You would not be able to... Uh, do that with plastic. Um, one thing that uh, I'm showing you guys, obviously, uh, how smooth it is and how nice the uh, the print came out. It came out really, really, really great. Um, I printed it a tiny bit smaller than uh, than what that model actually had. Uh, I just scaled it down a little bit. That's only because my printer only allows me, you know, so much build space and. Mine's got a issue with the uh, x-axis, so I can't print on the right side of the bed. Um, so unfortunately, I would have printed this a little bit bigger, but as you can see, uh, it fits my hand pretty well. So this actually feels and looks awesome. So that mounts on there pretty well, pretty easy. Uh, the grip, the grip is great. I absolutely love it. Um, more than likely, uh, this will be just a, a woods ball gun. But at the same time, I'm gonna want to do some close range with this because I usually have this right here. And what that is is very simply a red dot. collapse my stock like that and I'll cock it sideways and I'll have my laser on it. so as I'm coming through I could just pretty much hip fire the whole time I don't really have to aim it definitely works out uh, I have not been able to use this in the field yet because uh, I ran into an incident um, last time I did go to the field and I'm not gonna show you guys that video uh, it's not really something I want to promote on my channel. Um, I almost got into an altercation with a uh, with a kid that was actually on my team, and then actually wound up shooting me. And uh, he shot me from about ten feet away, which which really really pissed me off. So I kind of went after him, and I kind of lit him up with like five shots, uh, point blank, and. Um, you know, there was some words exchanged, and uh, he wound up leaving. I only played, like, a couple more games at the uh, at the end of that day, so it really just kind of ruined it, and it's really just not something I kind of want to show on my channel. Um, with that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy and found it somewhat useful, um, as well as uh, maybe even liked some of the products here. Um, I will leave links down to all of these in the description. Um, and if you're wondering about the paint job, this has to get redone. Uh, this was the Mario uh, graffiti paint job, but a uh, little bit of wear and tear running around with that. Um, so yeah, I'll leave uh, links to all this down in the video description. You guys can go ahead and try printing out some of these for yourself. Uh, and like I said in the last one, if you guys have anything that, uh, you want me to try printing out, I will gladly, uh, try to see what this printer can handle. Um, one last thing I have to mention, actually, is the company that I bought the printer from, uh, King Rune, an awesome company. Uh, I contacted them once just to ask a simple, simple question, and I was promptly met. Uh, by emails coming back um, 
what seems to be the issue, how can we help it. And then they actually checked out my YouTube video, they kind of seen like what I was talking about in that. And they were like, hey, uh, can, we, can we send you a, a new print bed? I was like, uh, well, I'd love to accept that, but at the same time, let me just send you a different video showing you guys what the problem is kind of leading towards. I am saying that he is offering support, uh, probably a little bit more support than some of the other uh, companies out there, and really just kind of take care of you like that. I kind of think other companies might just be like, hey, we'll, we'll offer you a discount on the parts you need. And it's like, well, I shouldn't have to buy any of that shit. I already paid a couple hundred for my printer, you know, I, I paid 140 but I'm talking about you guys out there with $3,000 printers that just up and break one day. This video is coming to a close. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you guys didn't get to see my beautiful face today. I am very tired. Uh, so I kind of look like shit after working so much. Um, but luckily now I will get to relax. I am on vacation. So maybe we can actually take this out and give it a try. And kind of see what it, what it feels like. Uh, unfortunately I also did want to print, print this in black. I forgot I had green in there. I just kind of clicked print and then came back like an hour later like, oh, shit. Oh, well, guess it's staying like that. This one that got printed out is done, but I don't have a string on it yet. This is actually not for me. This is for a friend of mine. Um, and this one came out really, really cool. This one's a... Uh, I can't really give you colored color description on this one because it's so many different colors. Plus, they're all generic. Came from a sample pack. But you do have uh, see-through translucent blue, uh, see-through translucent white, uh, well, not white, but clear. Uh, you do have translucent green. Uh, if you could tell by the front, the front came out banging, huh? Yeah, I ran out of green and shoved blue in there, and somehow it managed to, like, just print perfectly. All the way up to the strings is in green, right above the strings is in blue. Uh, and then the bottom piece as well. Um, this is the slide to load it. The sides are green, but the bottom is blue as well. And obviously that's because blue ran out. Uh, but it did come out really cool, so I made this for a friend of mine. And uh, hopefully he's pretty happy when he gets it. I hope that you guys did find it somewhat useful informational or just fun to watch um, be sure to hit that like button down here if you guys did like the video and be sure to hit the subscribe button down here if you guys do want to see future content on my channel uh, sadly to say I don't cover one subject I pretty much cover what I enjoy which is a lot of shit so if you guys enjoy watching a bunch of different crap all the time then Maybe you guys should subscribe. If not, well, hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway, and have a great day. And that's how we get the dust clear.